This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. U.S. Boots Spies Imposes Sanctions in Wake of Russian Hacking By Jack Davis Having concluded that Russia ordered cyber attacks on American political targets, the Obama administration on Thursday announced that it has slapped Russia with a package of sanctions. The United States is also deporting 35 Russian intelligence operatives, the New York Times reported. Although Russian President Vladimir Putin is not among those named in the sanctions, these data theft and disclosure activities could only have been directed by the highest levels of the Russian government, President Barack Obama said in a statement announcing the sanctions. Obama, who is in Hawaii on vacation, expanded an executive order issued in April 2015 as a way to take action against Russia before he leaves office next month. The order gives the president authority to issue travel bans and asset freezes on those who tamper with, alter, or cause a misappropriation of information, with a purpose or effect of interfering with or undermining election processes or institutions, the Times reported. The order bans four Russian intelligence officials from coming to the United States. The Times noted, however, that top Russian intelligence officials rarely travel to the United States or keep their assets here, so the effects may be largely symbolic. Sanctions were also imposed against three companies that the Obama administration supported the hacking of the Democratic National Committee and other political organizations. These actions follow repeated private and public warnings that we have issued to the Russian government, and are a necessary and appropriate response to efforts to harm U.S. interests in violation of established international norms of behavior. Obama said in a statement, which noted that Russian attempts to interfere in U.S. elections predate this past year's contest. Although the language of Obama's order could allow President-elect Donald Trump to revoke the sanctions, the fact that the U.S. action is based on reports by a broad collection of U.S. intelligence agencies would mean Trump would be acting against the conclusions of his own agencies. Trump has said in the past he is not convinced that Russia hacked into political organizations and has rejected the conclusion offered by some agencies that Russian agencies worked on his behalf. Asked on Wednesday night about action against Russia, Trump replied, I think we ought to get on with our lives. I think that computers have complicated lives very greatly. The whole age of computer has made it where nobody knows exactly what is going on. We have speed, we have a lot of other things, but I'm not sure we have the kind, the security we need. Obama said his administration will be providing a report to Congress in the coming days about Russia's efforts to interfere in our election, as well as malicious cyber activity related to our election cycle and previous elections. The Times reported that a so-called joint analytical report from the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Department of Homeland Security, using National Security Agency intelligence, will be released to buttress the administration's position. Russia has denied hacking U.S. political organizations. If Washington really does take new hostile steps, they will be answered, any action against Russian diplomatic missions in the U.S. will immediately bounce back on U.S. diplomats in Russia, Maria Zakharova, a representative for Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said in a statement. She added, frankly, we are tired about the lies about Russian hackers, it's misinformation by Obama administration aimed at providing an excuse for its own failure. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.